What's going on guys and welcome to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George. I run uh, a digital marketing agency here in the Netherlands and on my YouTube channel I basically show you guys you know, um, how I've started it, I've documented the journey and also show you guys you know, how you can do that for yourself. Now with that said, um, in the lifestyle design community, let me just quickly get it up. Uh, by the way, guys, for those that aren't in the lifestyle design community, it's basically a community of like-minded people, you know, people that are sort of trying to break out the nine to five, get out the rat race, um, live the laptop lifestyle and live life on their own terms. Um, we've got over 500 members, uh, like I said, like-minded people, got a lot of engagements uh, on a daily. Let me just quickly, there we go quickly scroll down so this is the post that I wanted to talk about with you guys today so basically um, I was caught well not necessarily caught but um, people noticed that I was running um, quite strange ads um, for my agency brand Panier. Um so quick backstory I also I'm basically my own client so I run ads for myself as well um, so we run ads to generate leads for our agency and then basically we just replicate what we do for ourselves for the clients as well. Um, and basically Josh uh, Fairweather noticed that I was running random ads with um, like these arrows and pointing to nowhere basically and he wants to know, you know, what is the deal? <laughs> what what's going on? You know, is it a mistake? Is it um, you know, is this done on purpose? And the reason why I've done this is basically to create is something that is called pattern interrupt. So it gets people to stop in their tracks and it gets people to, you know, try and figure out what is it that is that I'm actually pointing at. And it basically helps with the engagement, the click through rates, and um, you know, basically get people to stop scrolling mindlessly on Facebook. Um, because Facebook is a relatively um, relaxed platform, you know, people go there. For, uh, for pleasure, you know, not necessarily to do business. Um, so, you know, because we do want to leverage it as a business to business platform, um, we need to stop people from mindlessly scrolling. And a great way to do that is by creating pattern interrupt. So, um, I, you know, obviously a lot of people ask me, you know, what is pattern interrupt? How does it work? Can you do a video on this? So that is what the video of today is going to be about. Let me just quickly, um, you know, increase the screen size. Um, so let me just quickly show you guys what the effect is. Um, this is my Sandbox account. Um, I can see it's not the official brand Panier account. And basically what I do on this account is I run campaigns on a small scale to see what Facebook does with them. Um, if Facebook approves it, then, you know, I basically just leave it. As you can see, you know, it's November, what is it? it's the 19th today. So um, most of these ads are relatively new. As soon as I know, you know, Facebook approves it, um, it's, you know, been going for a while. I can see this one is seven days old. Then um, when I feel it's safe enough, I basically add them to my main account. Why? Because um, Facebook are very, very strict nowadays. And um, if you get multiple ads um, disapproved, it can, you know, basically block your ad account. And um, if you want to know more about that, I've got an entire video on this, on basically how to build a Facebook ecosystem to prevent um, Facebook from basically taking you down altogether, um, which is what happened to me. So long story short, I create a sandbox account, run the ads on a small scale. If I feel that they're safe enough, then I add them to my main account. But nevertheless, back to the story or like the main topic of this video, because we were rambling on. Um, if you go to columns and then click on performance and clicks, um, so you can see that the click-through rate is relatively high for this one. Um, and this is basically where we've been doing pattern interrupt um, campaigns as opposed to um, option two. Um, so basically, uh, on basically just looking at these ads now, obviously they're, they're, they're okay. You know, 10% cost per click for business to business, it's all right. Link click through rate is 2%, and obviously the the sort of the main uh, metric that stands out is the, the click through rate, all 6.84%. Um, and the reason for that is because of these ads here. So as you can see. This one has got a 14% click-through rate and this one has got a 6% click-through rate. That is for today. Let me just do like the last seven days so it's a bit more, you know, uh, the data is a bit more valuable. As you can see, 5% and 6%. So of the 100 people, six people have clicked through um, to the ad. And on average, uh, that is 1% on Facebook. 
and obviously, you know, if you can, if you're decent at media buying, it should go up to anywhere between three and five percent. So as you can see, you know, the the, the click through rate is relatively high on these, and the reason for that is because on this one, let me just quickly get it up. Um, as you can see, on this one, I have added a hideous yellow border. Let me just quickly wait for it to load. As you can see, you know, that is, it's an ISO, I know, but why I've done this is because it stops people in their tracks. Yellow is a color, especially this mad, like, proper, like, standout yellow, is a color that isn't often on Facebook. It's not a color that you see quite often. So if people see that yellow border, um, they basically stop in their tracks. And obviously, my targeting is uh, only people that are relatively, or, you know, that there's a big chance that they are interested in this post. Um, so the, the yellow border gets them to stop. The copy gets them to click on the ads, and that's basically how I can get relatively cheap traffic, even though this is in the UK. Same goes for this one. So rather than the yellow, hideous yellow border, we've here gone for an arrow and a circle. As you can see, the circle is pointing nowhere. The arrow is because of the, like, it's quite a, a busy image. Um, so if the image is clean, you don't necessarily need both. Um, best is to only have one so either the circle or the arrow or the border in this case because it's a busy image and that couldn't really create a high contrast color and because there's a lot of different types of colors in this image um, I went for both the arrow and the circle but what does it do it gets people to stop and figure out you know what is it what, what what's that obviously because a lot of people come onto Facebook for pleasure and it's one of the things you know um, like when you see this, you'll ship bricks, or you know if what when once this is seen, it can't be unseen. All those um, type of images are popular on Facebook, so it basically gets people to think that this is one of those images as well. So they're stopping, they're looking, they're trying to figure out what it is. They don't know what it is. They spend some time, you know, a couple of seconds um, on this image, and then when they can't figure it out, they read, you know, the headline, and then they realize it's not an ad. It, it is an ad. It's not a at a, a joke or an image or anything like that and then they'll read it and because I'm targeting the right audience hopefully they will click through okay so that is what is getting me the high click-through rate and now what I basically want to do is show you guys you know what to look for when looking for images if the client does not provide them and how you can create a high click-through rate um, so basically um, let's think of a quick example what shall we do um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's do car dealerships, okay? Because a lot of people in the lifestyle design community, um, obviously, you know, doing car dealerships. In fact, let me just see if there's anyone in the Facebook group that mentions something. You should have you told us what the secret lead gen source. Oh, that that's the the pattern interrupt. Um, let me see what is this guy? No, couple of meetings. Okay, what's skin perfection aesthetics? I need something more specific. Real estate. Okay, so uh, commit real estate. Okay, let's find images for real estate. Um, so obviously you start very generic. Real estate. See what comes up. You'll probably get a lot of images. But yeah, that exactly what I thought. So images like this. It's a stock image, and you know it won't work. Um, so what you can then do is find an image that is more specific. Um, so for example, this image could work, and the best is an image with a person on it. Um, so let me find an image with a person. So for example, an image like this. Okay, this image could could work. Um, the less stock image e, the better. Okay. So that this is an okay image, and the best thing is if they're looking at the camera. Um, I think the first image actually that we got was probably the best. This one, ah, uh, it's got the dissolve. See, it's got like the watermark. Okay, then we'll go for this one. Okay, so obviously, um, it's a bright image. It is. I think it's a stock image, but it's you can't really tell that it's a stock image. You know, it could just have, just have easily been taken on um, you know your iPhone or whatever. And uh, what we can now do 
is you know, we use the pattern interrupt features um, to make this image stand out and to increase, increase the click through rate. Apologies if I'm looking at my phone. Uh, I am in the office and basically I need to get a lot of work done today. As you can see, you know, guys, I'm, I'm using the pattern interrupt for a lot of different things. Um, it basically stems from sweepstakes. You know, affiliate marketers use it a lot. Um, I'll just use the brand panel ads um, file for now. So yeah, a lot of um, affiliate marketers have been using it for a while, and it's just a really easy way to create that. You know, get people to stop in their tracks and to get people to um, look at what it is that you are trying to offer on Facebook. And a lot of people try and go for like really high quality, aesthetically pleasing um, ads, and you'll notice that they don't really work as good anymore, or not as good as they used to. Um, same goes for Instagram, you know, everyone's going for the real, Instagram stories, sorry, everyone's going for the really high quality videos, um, and because everyone is doing it, you no longer stand out if you do it, so, um, you know, the drop off is just um, extremely high if you try and do really high quality videos. So, this is the image, um, just decrease the size and zoom in a bit, there we go, that'll do. It is a bit stock imagey, you know, it's a very, um, you know, it's a photo that it looks too made, if you know what I mean. Um, so then what I do is I try and find, because obviously when you look at this image, your attention goes to the people, to their faces. Okay, so we need to basically place this circle in a place where people wouldn't usually look. So for example, this corner. Um, it's a little bit darker in this corner as well. Um, so this is this is a place that you could add it. Um, so let me just adjust the brightness. Um, yeah, there's not necessarily a very dark part of this image. Um, so yeah, this is a corner that you could do in terms of the arrow. Obviously, you, know, you can just have the arrow here. Um, you could have the arrow pointing at their feet again because people you know are looking at um, the people the faces and then you know you're pointing at their feet so people are trying to figure out you know what is it what's the what's the catch you know why, why are they looking at the feet you can have it pointing at the what is it like the um, I think there's maybe a fireplace or something you're pointing there and uh, maybe pointing outside probably not outside because outside is bright best to go for dark places um, or what you can do, obviously, is add a border. So let me just quickly get the border, show you guys what it looks like. There we go. Um, yellow's not as standout-ish um, in this video, in this image, because it's quite a bright image. So what we could do is maybe go for um, hot pink. I know, guys, and like this is an absolute ISO. I understand that, but trust me, it, like this, this, this stuff works. This is again, and like hot pink. It's not a color that you often see on Facebook. Um, so this will get people to stop in their tracks, okay? Hot pink, um, like that neonish yellow, maybe even go to green, like this, again, colour that you don't often see. So uh, use the border, the circle, or the arrow, okay? So I hope you got something out of this. Try it out for yourself, let me know what it does to your click-through rate. Um, if you like this video and you got something out of it, then make sure you subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.